Hi, I'm Lucy, chartered engineer, but also a maker. I'm going to share with you today my latest project, making safe firecrackers. I've been working with Robin Hill on the Isle of Wight for quite a few years. They've had some exciting projects, and this latest one is for them. Every year, they do a Chinese New Year theme. They light up all the park with lights, with lanterns, and they have a whole festival. I thought maybe it was missing firecrackers, but health and safety says we can't have the fire. So how can I make some safe firecrackers? Well, using some everyday objects, strobe lights. You can get these in a variety of shops. Speakers. A motion sensor. These are used in household security systems. And also a mobile fogger. This isn't going to work. Oh. So I'm going to use this, along with the strobe lights, to make some safe firecrackers. So how am I going to connect all these bits together? I have a plan. Here's my sketch. I've got two PIRs, the motion sensors, coming in. My outputs, lights, two sets of strobe lights, and the smoke machine. I've got the amplifier that will talk to the speakers. And in the middle, in the brain, is a Raspberry Pi. This is my Raspberry Pi. And by using these pins along the bottom, the GPIO pins, general purpose input output, I can use that to control all of these outputs. And, and the inputs as well. For the purposes of this demonstration, in true historic style, I have prepared one earlier, or at least part prepared. This is my backing board, which will go inside the waterproof box. I've already had some holes drilled in it, and I've mounted this DIN rail. On this DIN rail, all these components can fit, and things like my amplifier will also be screwed down onto here. What have I got on my DIN rail? Well, this is where my power supply comes in. It's just a fuse, like you've got in your fuse box at home. So my power's going to come in from the mains, and it just makes the whole board a lot safer. I split off the live and the neutral into these two boxes, and also the earth. From there, I've got a 12-volt power supply. So this takes the 240 volts from the mains, and makes it come out in 12 volts, which I've put out in these red and black cables. This is just the same as one of these that you use in, on your computer or many other devices. The relays will be used to switch the lights on and off. Because I can't switch straight from the Raspberry Pi anything as big as the mains voltage, so what I'm going to have to do is use the 3.3 volts on the GPIO pins to switch something that can switch 12 volts. The 12 volts will then be able to switch these relays, and these relays are big and strong enough to be able to switch the mains. So what do I need to go from the 3.3 to the 12 volts? This is where I made a thingatron. This is my Thingatron. It's actually called an open collector driver. I wrote a blog post about this Thingatron, explaining which each part does. It just makes my life a lot easier. I can use it to control anything from the Raspberry Pi, anything bigger. I put my 12 volts in the power side. I put the load, which is the relay, in the load side. I use these little pins to connect straight across to the GPIO pins on my Pi. I'm now going to put most of the parts on the board, at least lay them out to make sure that everything will fit properly. Got the amplifier. Lining it up with the holes that I've already drilled. This will be the power for the amp. That's going to fit 
there and these holes will have cable ties coming round to secure that down. So that's going to be screwed down, that's going to be cable tied down. The pie I'm going to put adhesive on the bottom and stick that down there. And the thingatrons are also going to have adhesive little feet. I've now got my Raspberry Pi plugged straight into my laptop via the Ethernet port. I've also put this little Trific lights. There's another PCB that I've made, and it's got three of the GPIO pins connected to three LEDs. This has just helped me debug and actually write the software. So I've got one that I've, I can represent the smoke machine and two to represent the two sets of strobes. I'm using Node-RED software. It's free to download, node-red.org. I find it really good. It's a flow visualization programming tool. So now I know that my software is going to work and I know, got an idea how I'm going to do that. I've laid out all my hardware. I just need to wire up that just. That's quite a lot of work and I've only got four days to do it in because I need to be on the Isle of Wight next week for a little extravaganza at Robin Hill. So I better get on with it. Hi, my name's James. I'm the technical coordinator at Robin Hill Country Park on the Isle of Wight. So my role includes uh, keeping the uh, networks in the park running and also in particular the uh, electric woods, which is our evening lighting installations around the park. So Dr. Lucy Rogers has been working with us for many years now on different uh, technical projects around the park and installations. So that's really helped with lots of the interactivity, which allows the public to get involved. Uh, my name is Alexander DeBell. I'm the managing director of um, Vectors Ventures, which owns Robin Hill, which is 90 acres here on the Isle of Wight. I'm delighted to be working with Dr. Lucy Rogers, who's been helping us do all sorts of stuff. Now, her background obviously being engineering, and that discipline has enabled her to help facilitate us create a lot of wonderful things. One of the challenges for a small organisation such as ours, in comparison with our larger competitors, is that we have to work for a small budget. That presents many opportunities though for us to really focus on what it is that we want to deliver. We haven't got any room for padding or any room for extravagance. Um, to that end, some of the disciplines that Lucy has got and had had trained into her doing engineering has certainly helped us to be able to get maximum use of her, her knowledge and experience. So here I am at Robin Hill Country Park, really excited. I've been working for the last three days getting the control box, the fogger, the strobe lights and the software all working together. Let's go and meet James, who's the technical coordinator, who's going to help us set up the firecrackers for tonight. Hi James, how are you doing? I'm right, thank you. Yourself? Yeah, good. Very really good. Got some of the firecrackers stuff here. Right, yeah. Looks heavy. Yeah. Can we um, get yeah. it in the back of the van? Yeah, tar. Uh, we'll head on round to the workshop after this. Great. Great. Well, I think we'll just start with the one box. Right, yeah. And then I can show you what's in it. Brilliant, okay. So, so. have you um, you've been working on this for very long? Well, three days ago, it was still in parts in the workshop. Oh, right. okay. um, so you're really cracked on yeah, it. Yes, so I've really cracked on with it, but it's, I think it's looking really good. Wow. Uh, I just walk, walk you through the bits. We've got the circuit breaker, so if anything goes wrong, we can just switch it off there or okay. switch it back on again. Right. Raspberry Pi. Of course. The thingatrons that are controlling the relays, that are controlling the outputs. I see. And just a normal uh, Pi connector so that everything can be swapped in and out. If anything goes wrong, we can just okay, so unplug just it. on a module basis. It's all on a module basis. Right, yeah. So even on the Raspberry Pi here, we can take out that connector. Oh, okay. yeah. So you don't have to worry about no. which, which yeah, cables no, on which. Easy, yeah. It? Yeah. But I've also put it down on the side just in case yeah, something needs changing there. That's great. Right, well, I suppose we should uh, get on with installing it then. Yeah, let's get down there. Brilliant.
here at the site where we're going to put the firecrackers. Next I'm going to get my cables, the PIR, the speakers, lay them out on the ground, work out where I want to put the control box, put that up, but first of all it's all going to go on the ground so we can set it up right. Having looked at it, I'd really like a pole here so I can string the strobes over the top, so I'll get one put in. Now all I have to do is plug the main control box into the mains, wait for the Pi to boot up and see if it works. So after the first run through, I realised there were some issues with the timing. So I'm just going to load up my computer, load up Node Red, change some of the software and try and get it working better. I'm just changing the timing on the fog machine. The fog machine, the lights and the audio weren't quite in sync. So I just want to change a couple of bits here. So I've just tweaked some of the nodes on Node Red, some of the timing. So I'm actually controlling the Raspberry Pi from my laptop at the moment. Once I just close this down, save it and close it down, everything will be on the pie and we can give the firecrackers another go. It's the end of the day, I've been hard at it. Put the control board on the tree, I've strung the lights up over the path, had to put a pole in the other side to connect them. Everything's looking good, everything's sounding good. Now we just want guests to arrive. Hope they enjoy it. of the day and I think they really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it but there's some tweaks I still want to make. I'm going to hang the lights slightly different. There's some things I want to do with the sound and just make sure that the Raspberry Pi and the software are working just as I want it. So watch this space.